of it safely. That is the news at this hour. The latest from Storm Team 6 is coming up right here on HTSN. Now, Central Indiana's most accurate forecast from Storm Team 6. Thanks for stopping by HTSN. I'm meteorologist Kyle Mounts, and it's time. You're watching WTHR, Channel 13. Mounts TV. Your day the Pittsburgh way. Watch Channel 4 Action News this morning. Tonight, captured on a boat, the Boston bombing suspect under guard. Why feds can't talk to him yet. And remembering the victims, we're in Boston, where a memorial is growing as the city struggles to return to normalcy. Plus, remembering victims of terror here at home, the massive effort underway at the Flight 93 crash site. And one man's fight against Facebook, why he says the social media giant is costing him big bucks. You're watching WTAE News for Pittsburgh. This is Channel 4 Action News. A thermal image from police shows Boston bombing suspect Jokar Zarnayev hiding in a boat in one. New tonight, one man's Facebook page is shut down and he's fighting mad. Action News. The Penguins have clinched the number one seed in the East in the upcoming. Only here on WTAE Channel 4 at 7. We'll see you at 11 night. This has been a presentation of WTAE Channel 4. All new Sunday. Watch Mike Harvey and the Weather Watch 4 team on Channel 4 Action News. For more local news at 5 o'clock, turn to 6 News for coverage you can count on. The Special Olympics taking over Beaver Stadium today. Franco Harris on hand. Kick off the run. An event attracting colleges from all over Pennsylvania and our very own UPJ competing. The story coming up. Six news. Coverage you can count on. In high definition. Starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Boston is getting back to their Sunday routine after a weekend of snacks. Eleven minutes of news and weather before the first commercial break. That's six news eleven at eleven. The most important news stories of the day in the first eleven minutes of our newscast. Breaking news: Fire investigators called to another possible arson. Flames are going over top of it. Well, I thought our house was going to go. Plus, severe weather team six with a first look at tomorrow's weather. Using the most powerful technology to bring you the most accurate local forecast. Six news eleven at eleven is coverage you can count on. To people. This is Six News. Coverage you can count on. A longtime sports broadcaster. And now, your severe weather Team Six forecast in high definition. Well, the sunshine made a return to the area today and in part. Now, your Six Sports Report. Good evening. The Pittsburgh Pirates have cooled off the red hot Braves, winning two of. We are Channel 2 News and we are on your side. Tonight, first at five, terror plot thwarted. Had this plot been carried out, it would have resulted in innocent people being killed or seriously injured. What police north of the border are saying about a planned attack on a train. Plus, Boston suspect developments. What the 19-year-old accused of carrying out the twin bombings with his brother will and will not be charged with. And through a victims, we hear from the relatives of three people who died in a crash on the night. And there are two big stories that we are watching tonight concerning the legend. Shocking details, police in Canada say that they have just arrested two people who were planning on attacking trains near the border. 
Plus, charges have been filed in the Boston bombing case. We will share the criminal complaint and show you the morning as the victim was laid to rest. Plus, a grieving family continues their search for answers after last week's triple fatality on the thruway. And as he celebrates a birthday milestone, we catch up with Russ Salvatore about his career. Channel 2 News at 6 starts now. Tonight we have more on a major developing story. This is coming out of Toronto this afternoon where authorities say that they have foiled a terror plot there. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Canadian authorities say that they have stopped a terror attack. That it's a very good baseball team right now. Worth checking out. Thanks, Adam. You bet. Thank you for joining us for Channel 2 News at 6. We'll see you over on Fox 29 at 10 and then back here for Channel 2 News tonight at 11. And we're going to leave you tonight with some video taken by photojournalist Dave Harrington of the Barkyard Dog Park in LaSalle Park. We'll see you at 11. NBC WMGT clear accurate to next on the news at six a Macon mother is arrested and charged for beating and killing her toddler we spoke to neighbors today about that crime plus adding insult to injury severe thunderstorms moved into the devastated town of Moore Oklahoma today as people there begin burying those they lost from 41 NBC News your first alert no wait weather after seeing our own thunderstorms last night, they are long gone. A beautiful afternoon, plenty of sun, low 80s tomorrow. Humidity is gone. Your seven day, it's on the way. Covering Macon, Warner Robins, and all of Middle Georgia. You're watching 41 NBC News at 6. Thank you for joining us this evening for the News at 6. I'm Ashley Minnelli. And I'm Andrew Reeser. A Macon woman is charged with murder in the death of her three-year-old child. She's accused of beating him to death. Jamisha Smooth sailing. Right. Thanks for watching the News at 6. <laughs> he <everybody>. never participates. <laughs> we'll Why? see you back here at 11. He doesn't like us. <laughs> no chicken. You're watching 41 NBC WMGT DT, Macon Warner Robbins. Next on WGXA News at 10, an arrest made and charges filed, but is a suspect keeping it all in the family. New details and reactions in the triple murder case of an FVSU college student and his parents. Plus, a three year old is dead and his mother charged for his murder goes before a judge for the first time today. And local law enforcement won't be enjoying any Memorial Day barbecues this weekend. Instead, they're planning a way for you to save a little cash. Don't go away. WGXA News at 10 is next. Good evening, everyone. I'm WGXA Chief Meteorologist Jeff Cox. We've made it through our Thursday. That means Friday right around the corner. And I risk time today. Uh, we were pushing 80 degrees in many spots. So cooler tomorrow and into the weekend. But how long does it last? We'll talk about that and a first look at the Atlantic hurricane season. All of that coming up in about 10 minutes. But the news starts right now. Now, your source for local news. This is News Central on Fox 24. Good evening and thanks for watching WGXA News at 10. I'm Tiffany Bradley. And I'm Raymond Tubb. The brother of Appling Middle School Principal Stephen Jones is charged. Middle Georgia weather can change from calm to severe in an instant. You can rely on the WGXA weather team to work for your family and keep you safe from the storm. When storms break out in Middle Georgia, it's our job to keep an eye on the storm and alert you first. Working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you can plan your day ahead. And be prepared on the weekend. To keep you and your family safe in severe weather. The WGXA weather team of Jeff Cox, Felicia Combs, and Clinton Bourgeois. Working for you to stay ahead of the storm. Good one coming up. All right. Well, you all enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. for WGXA Morning News. And we'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon, beginning at 5 p.m. right here on WGXA. Good all night. Right. Have a great night. NewsCentralGA.com is your source for local news online 24-7. You're watching WGXA, ABC 16, Macon.
You're watching Macon TV, WPGA. The Fox 54 9 o'clock news is Huntsville's primetime newscast. Hi, I'm Chase Gallimore with the Fox 54 9 o'clock news. I want to remind you to rescan your digital TV tuners. You'll find a new station at 54.3. It's MeTV, Tennessee Valley, memorable entertainment television. You're watching memorable entertainment television. MeTV, Birmingham. The Andy Griffith Show, weeknights at 10 and 10.30 on CW21. You're watching. WTTO Television Birmingham now concludes another day of broadcast television. WTTO is owned by Sinclair Broadcast Group and is an affiliate of the CW Network. WTTO broadcasts on Channel 21 with an effective radiated power of 920,000 watts. Our transmitter is located at 2021 Golden Crest Road and our offices are located at 651 Beacon Parkway West, Suite 105, Birmingham, 35209. Some or all of the programs seen on WTTO television were recorded on film or videotape. WTTO WTTO resumes broadcasting later this morning with more great entertainment. On behalf of the staff and management of WTTO, we wish you a pleasant day and invite you to tune in later. WABM Television in Birmingham now concludes another day of broadcast television. WABM is owned by Sinclair Broadcast Group and is an affiliate of My Network Television. WABM broadcasts on Channel 68 with an effective radiated power of 1,450,000 watts. Our transmitter is located at Spalding Ishkuda Road and our offices are located at 651 Beacon Parkway West, Suite 105, Birmingham, 35209. Some or all of the programs seen on WABM Television were recorded on film or videotape. WABM resumes broadcast later this morning with more great entertainment. On behalf of the staff and management of WABM, we wish you a pleasant day and invite you to tune in later. Hey, this is Bob Baumhauer and you're watching WVUA, Alabama's home team. Tighter. WMAZ Eyewitness News at 11. And good evening, everybody. Thanks for being with us. I'm Kenny Burgamy. Frank Malloy has the night off. Our top story tonight, a four-year-old boy is... Welcome back in. The brother of a Bibb County principal has been arrested, charged with... night it was a rough night you put in a lot of work last night three inches over three inches of rain it's okay you can rest now do you talk to your rain gauge after long rainy nights like last night we do we don't have anything better to do with the rain gauge. Obviously, we had the rain last night. And this evening, storms canceled the second round of ASUN action for the Bears down in Florida. Top seed of Mercer and fourth seed East Good grief. Uh, yeah, I saw you talking to your gauge a few minutes ago. Then. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow's great. Low around 60 tonight. Beautiful. Look at there. It's in the, on the old wall there. You can see it. We're going to have a beautiful Memorial Day weekend, folks. It starts with a great Friday tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Night, night. Keep track of changing sky conditions across central Georgia with views from the Alpha SkyCam Network on 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News and 13WMAZ.com. The Alpha SkyCam Network, sponsored by Alpha Insurance. 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. Coverage of the big stories every day in central Georgia. Live coverage. Conversations about the issues community stories that come from the heart and highlight home. It's the people you know with a commitment that never stops. 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. Coverage straight from the heart. 13 WS We Investigate. WAFF 48 Investigates.
A gorgeous afternoon across the Tennessee Valley. Southerly wing up. It's 5 o'clock. The news starts now. Tracking storms with the Valley's only live million watt radar. Covering the heart of the Valley. This is WFF 48 News at 5. The people of Moore, Oklahoma are finally getting a chance to turn their attention to something more positive. Plus, trains collide causing a chain reaction for an overpass to collapse. And with the recent bridge collapse in Washington, how are the bridges here holding up in the state of Alabama? We'll see how they measure up. Good evening, I'm Margot Gray. Thanks for joining us for WAFF 48 News at 5. One person is dead, another still missing tonight after May. Now, meteorologist Lauren Jones with your WAFF 48 Storm Team forecast. We track storms. Pretty quiet across the Tennessee Valley today. Temperature. Taking action, getting results. You're watching WHNT News 19 at 6. Thank you for watching WHNT News 19 at 6. You're looking live right now at downtown Florence via our Jack's Camera Network. It has been a beautiful Saturday on this first day of the Memorial Day weekend. Let's get a quick look at your Saturday night forecast. Meteorologist Brandon Chambers joining us now. And you really can't beat this for a holiday weekend. Fantastic. Now, your WHNT News 19 weather where you live forecast with meteorologist Brandon Chambers. Brandon joining us once again. You've been over to Point Mallard for the, for the bowl. Sure. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. Have a great night. You're watching Way 31 First News at 10 in high definition. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Jillian Pavlica. Well, we enjoyed perfect spring weather across the valley today. Let's check in with meteorologist Mary Perry and hopes that Monday for Memorial Day is going to be more of the same. You know, Mary, we're very lucky here that we have... Hey everyone, welcome back to Way 31 Sports. I'm Audra Martin. Before this weekend, Alabama watching. Have a great weekend. At Subway. Storm Force 31, your weather authority. College Counts Give Smart. Get your sports fix on Alabama tonight. It is the start of a nice evening across central Alabama. Here is your interceptor forecast for 7 o'clock tonight. Skies overhead partly cloudy. Temperature-wise, very pleasant in the lower 80s at 82. More in the upcoming week straight ahead. Now on Alabama's 13 News. As we grill hot dogs and hamburgers, it's a very different kind of Memorial Day weekend. And more will take it Oklahoma where the res president is acting as comforter in chief. Plus... People in Alabama keep showing how generous they are. You might be amazed at how much just one organization has collected for storm survivors. And all you pet lovers out there, listen up. Governor Robert Bentley has taken a very strong stand on animal abuse. Find out what landmark move he made to make our best furry friends safer. This is Alabama's 13 News at 5, where accuracy matters. We're always so glad to see you. I'm Hillary Golston. Thank you so much for joining us on this Memorial Day weekend. Just a quick reminder for you, as always, we are streaming this newscast right now on alabamas13.com. Today, Always ahead of the weather. Now, Alabama's 13 Interceptor weather forecast. And it's been quite a weekend so far, folks. I'll tell you, the weather yesterday and today just about... Listen to 93.7 WTJC for Alabama's 13 daily forecast. Now, Alabama's 13 sports. Oh, look, they knew it wasn't going to be easy. UAB found a way to reach the Super Regionals for the first time in school history. The Blazers... Thank you, Jerry. You're and welcome. thank you all for being with us. We'll be back at 10 o'clock tonight. Hope and you have a wonderful evening. Yes? Bye. And goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Straight ahead, a bugler shares the significance of playing taps for fallen veterans. And a Jasper Man's Green Initiative is helping more than the environment. Tonight on CBS 42 News. It's one of the last honors I present our fallen heroes with is uh, doing this. 
Meet the men who make it their mission to honor our veterans in death. And... Why do we play taps? We'll introduce you to a man who treats the 24 notes with the utmost care. Then, the man who's doing God's work by collecting one can at a time. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shanesty Myers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Memorial Day is a time to remember. Chief Meteorologist Gene Norman, weeknights on CBS 42 News. Previously on Criminal. Live in HD, this is Fox 6 News. Good day, Alabama. Good day, Alabama, and welcome back in on this Memorial Day. We're glad you're with us today. You know, before we uh, went to break, we uh, showed. Hey there, welcome back in this morning. Glad you're with us today. If we can take. <clears throat> we are looking at Britton Lynn. Well, thanks, Mickey. We are accident free right now, 817. We are going to take a look at the one spot where. <laughs> Welcome back into Good Day Alabama. We are live from Evo B Fit hanging out with. That's it. I'm Burton Lynn. Uh -huh. Well, see you tomorrow morning, we hope. Bye. <laughs> Download the new free Fox 6 News app today. Fox 6 News on your side. Take an expedition to the. How much do you know about weather? Put your knowledge to the test. Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice asks the questions, you give the answers. Weather 101, weeknights on Fox 6 News at 9. Precise weather forecasting. The most local news from where you live. Live, late breaking. Check in for your first real news of the night. Fox 6 News at 5, on your side. This is WGXA Morning News. Good morning, you're watching WGXA Morning News. I'm Linnea Batiste. And I'm Rick Devins. Here are some of the stories we're working on this hour. An arrest has been made and charges have been filed. New details. Current time is 7-11. Temperature is still pretty. Next Wendy. Singing sensation Sierra is back on the couch. Plus, Teresa Judy's is here to set the record straight. This morning at 10 on Fox 5. Good morning. From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day Atlanta at 8 a.m. Ah, look at that. Looking at a live Fox 5 net cam, a lot of blue sky. That's from the mm -hmm. Glen Hotel looking back at downtown Atlanta. The sun glistening off the buildings. Mm -hmm. Looks like another beautiful start to another beautiful day. Should be. Good day, Atlanta. I'm Buck Lanford. Good morning. I'm Gervier Dins. A lot of people headed back to mm -hmm. work today. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah. at least the weather's nice for your... That's true. You're watching Good Day Atlanta. From breaking news to the day's biggest stories around the world and here at home. Know what's going on when you wake up every morning on Fox 5 News. Coming up next on WGXA, a three-year-old boy is dead and his mother in court charged with his murder. Plus, a family member may be to blame for the triple murder of a Fort Valley State student and his parents. All the details regarding the new leads. And Shanti, big changes as we roll into your Memorial Day weekend. We'll talk about what changes to expect and how long they stick around. Plus, hurricane season right around the corner a week away. We'll talk about what we expect. That in your seven day next on WGXA. Hey, you Anytime, anywhere. ABC, start here. Good evening, everyone. I'm WGXA's Chief Meteorologist Jeff Cox. We had a pretty nice Thursday across central Georgia. A good mix, but the news starts right now. Now, your source for local news. This is News Central on ABC 16. Straight ahead on WGXA News at 11, church members remember the victims of a triple murder outside of Augusta. It's a tragedy with ties to middle Georgia. Plus, a home in Atlanta is left damaged after debris falls from the sky. Hear what the FAA says caused the collision. And in health news, could your reflux be more than just a little heartburn? New research finds that taking an antiacid may help prevent cancer. Good evening and thanks for watching WGXA News at 11. I'm Shanti Tager. First tonight, some breaking Federal forecasters are predicting a busy hurricane season Thursday. Fox 59 Morning News continues now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. It's a great morning to get out the door, having a live look out over Indianapolis.